Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. My name is Brian and I'm with SmartSafe's technical support and training group. Today we'll be calibrating a 2023 Nissan Rogue uh, front camera and we'll be using our ADAS Pro Plus system as well as our iSmartLink 801 display tablet. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started by connecting the VCI to the vehicle. It's OBD2 port and of course the VCI is conveniently located here in our display tablet. We'll go ahead and put our key on and start the calibration function. You can hear our VCI connecting to the vehicle, reading the VIN. Okay, we've got our communication established. We'll go ahead and click on confirmed. All right, we'll go ahead and start with our ADAS system scan. Now this vehicle is, doesn't currently have any DTC codes, but we'll move forward as if it did. So we'll first create our pre-repair report. And then we'll go forward with the ADAS calibration function for the front camera calibration. And then we'll select auto aim. We're using our Pro Plus platform, so we'll select Pro Plus. And the next thing we need to do is reset the device. Let's start by resetting the calibration frame. So there are three fine tune adjustments that we can make. We have the parallel fine tuning position, which is the yaw. We also have a left and right fine tuning, as well as a forward and reverse fine tuning. So I'll go ahead and reset the frame to its default or zero values. So for the yaw, we have a lever uh, control here and we, can, we have a marker on our frame to put it back to the zero default. I can change the left and right located over here, as well as resetting the fore and aft. And there we go. All right, let's move on to the next step. We'll go ahead and install the uh, wheel clamps and the ranging panel. We'll go ahead and install the uh, range panel here on the front wheel. And we wanna just get it centered to the hub. Should be right about there. And on the rear, we will go ahead and install the wheel clamp range panel. And we have a bubble indicator here to let us know we're level. Tighten it up here on the clamp. And then we have another bubble indicator located here to square out the panel. And we would repeat this for the left side or driver side as well. Next, we need to position the frame uh, distance to the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and use our two lasers here. We have one that centers the frame to the vehicle. And then we have a distance range laser here that will determine the distance um, for the from the vehicle. So we need to be at 3000 millimeters. We're currently about 2900. So we'll go ahead and make an adjustment here. Bring it back just a hair to 3000. Okay, we got that set. And then we'll go ahead and make sure that we're centered here. And we can just turn it here or we can use our fine tune adjustment and left and right. So we'll go ahead and lock our casters down here and move on to the next step. And next we just wanna make sure that our frame is level. So we have some bubble indicators here for level. And currently we are set for that. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. 
So next we want to make sure that the frame is parallel to the vehicle or the yaw adjustment. So we'll go ahead and turn on two additional lasers that will uh, hit the rear wheel uh, uh, clamp ranging panels. So we'll go ahead and get that turned on. There's one on each side. And here we're just going to equal out the two values. So currently I've got 57.54 on the driver's side, 56.89 on the passenger side. So we're gonna change the, the yaw angle of that to make them equal. And looks like we're gonna settle here at about 57.25. All right, so we're set there. So we'll go ahead and move on to our next step. All right, we'll go ahead and place our targets. We're gonna be using the LAM0107, and we have a left and right. And the distance position uh, for those targets will be 360. Uh, millimeters, which looks like we're currently set at, so we'll go ahead and attach those right now. So the panels are labeled on the rear here. So we have LAM0107L, which will go on the driver's side. And we have the LAM0107R, which will be up for the right or passenger side. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Next thing we need to do is adjust our height of the frame. So we'll go ahead and turn on our height laser here. And we need to set that to 1300. So we'll bring that up. All right. And we're all set to calibrate. Okay, with all of our frame adjustments made, we're ready to calibrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand behind the sight line of the camera and we'll go ahead and click on the calibration button. Now there's two more things we need to do. We need to measure the front left wheel arch and the front right wheel arch. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, so it looks like we're about 830. That's 830 millimeters. And then we'll go ahead and do the same for the other side. Okay, so both sides ended up being about 8.30, so we'll go ahead and enter that into our tablet. And then we'll go ahead and click on Start. Auto-aiming is in progress. And we have a successful completion. So we'll go ahead and click on completed. And we're being asked whether we'd like to confirm to save the ADAS report, we'll say okay. And we'll go ahead and hit save. Click the back arrow. We'll click on system scan. We'll run another scan to make sure all of our DTCs are clear. Okay, we've got no uh, additional code, so we'll go ahead and click on the report. We'll change our report type to post repair. And we'll go ahead and add our pre-repair and our diagnostics, diagnostics re uh, report to the post repair report. So we'll select pre, Diagnostic scan, press OK, and OK. And now we have our completed post repair report that includes the pre repair, post repair, and diagnosis scan. So, this completes the calibration of the front camera on this Nissan Rogue. We hope you found the video helpful, and we'll see you next time.